Okay, gang, I've got another cool video for you here. We're gonna, it's a 2D problem. You thought, we were out of 2D, we're going to 3D. No, we got one more to go here. Because there are some problems in the book like this that have non-orthogonal axes on them, okay? If you look here, I have the U and the V axes, but they are not 90 degrees from each other. They're at some wacky angle. So the problem says, find the U and V components of the 30 pound force, okay? So the 30 pound force is like the, the resultant, okay? And a components means it's a part of, okay? So if I add U plus V together, then I get the 30, okay? So the first thing I do is I wanna sketch this, okay? So here is my 30 degree vector here, okay? Let's just say that. There's vector F. Now there's a couple ways I can get there, but here's what I think I'm gonna do. Hmm. I think what I better do is come down this way and then go across to get there, right? So what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna go this way and then straight across this way. So something like that, right? Because this side here is in the U direction, isn't it? So this is U, and this side is in the V direction, okay? So this is V, and I constructed this triangle so that V plus U, tip to tail, right? The components are tip to tail, remember the triangle rule, make this guy the resultant vector, okay? So now all that's left to do, we know that the magnitude of this side here is 30 pounds, okay? We know that. We don't know anything else. It would be nice if we knew some angles. Well, we might know some angles, don't we? Okay, let's see. From horizontal, um, I know that this angle is given as 30 degrees, and this angle straight down here is given as 15 degrees. Ah, oh, okay, okay. All right. Oh, look, Par parallel lines. Line between them, so if that's 30 degrees, then that's 30 degrees. And if that's 30 degrees, let's see. Ooh, look, 90 degrees. So 15 plus 30 is 45, so that means that this interior angle here is also 45 degrees, isn't it? Because 45 plus 45 makes 90. And if you're 45 and you're 30, that's a 75. That means that this angle here is 105. Look at there. We went from not knowing anything to knowing every single angle in there. Now, what can we use? Can we use the law of cosines? For the law of cosines, we need to know the sash, right? Side, angle, side. Do we know side, angle, side? Well, we only know one side, so that's out. Maybe the law of sines. Do I know two things that go together? Ooh, side F and angle F, right? Yes. So 30 is to the sine of 105 as, what do I want here? Oh, I need all of them, don't I? I need V and I need U. They asked me to find both of those, right? Find the U and the V components. And when I find the components, I'm just talking about the magnitude, right? So I'm looking for like the magnitude of U, okay? And I'm looking for the magnitude of how big are the components? I don't know. What other things go together? Okay, U, side U, goes with angle, ooh, angle 45, right? Okay, and then the next is side V. Side V goes with angle 30. Okay, so I can, this number I know, so I can kind of ignore this over here, right? And look what I've got. I've got a nice little ratio to solve. Then when I want V, I just ignore this guy. And look at it. I've got a nice little ratio to solve, right? So it's easy. All I need to do is find my calculator. Calculator, where are you? Okay, I'm going to do U first. I'm going to do U first. How about uh, 30? divided by the sine of 105 equals, no, I put 102 in my calculator, 30 divided by the sine of 105 
That's 31.58, and then multiply 0 0.707 times that times 0 0.707 equals 21.96. So U is 21.96 uh, pounds. Now, I don't expect V to be quite as big, but let's see what we get for V. Um, Well, that's all of that. Instead, now it's multiplied by the sine of 30, which is 0.5, isn't it? Which is, I better do that right. 30 divided by the sine of 105 equals 31.058 times 0.5 equals 15.53. Okay. So here's the deal. Here's where students usually get messed up. If you have a, an axis system like this, where the two axes, now these were what? 90 minus 15 is 75 degrees, right? They're 75 degrees apart instead of 90 degrees apart. Sokotoa doesn't work, man. Sokotoa only works on orthogonal systems. So when you have a non-orthogonal system, you better think about busting out your triangle rule. That's the trick, right? Because everybody wants to just get rid of that. I hated the triangle rule. I'm getting rid of that. I'm going Cartesian, man. I'm going Cartesian. You can't go Cartesian when you don't have orthogonal axes. So be watching for that trick and whip out your triangle rule and then get 100 on the test and a smile on your face, okay? There we go. All right, I'll see you on the next video.